Take of People is Monday. And you know, I believe that how you start your day can set the tone for your day. So using that same principle, how we start our week can set the tone for our week. So I like to start it off with a moment of what? Gratitude. <laughs> Gratitude is just simply where we stop and we take the time to fill our atmosphere with what we're grateful for. We talk about all of the good things that are happening, especially if, you know, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, right? Or you went to sleep on the wrong side of the bed, especially if you're coming off of a difficult night, just waking up and telling God you're grateful just gives you a different energy, a different motivation, a different vibe, a different type of excitement, a different type of push. If the first thing out of our mouths is gratitude. So we're filling our atmosphere with gratitude. Here's what I'm grateful for. Over the past week, I had the opportunity to do my first podcast interview. I was interviewed. Someone interviewed me. Like God sent somebody my way that was interested in my story. My story of reconciliation and love. Like after all the years of beef and tension between you and your mom, Lolita, how did y'all come back together? Lolita, after all the hard times and the tension and the separation and division between you and your children, how in the world did y'all come back together? How did you make it? And it was only by the grace of God. And here's the simplest way to explain that. In, in, um, in Isaiah 61, 3, it talks about an exchange. It says, he would give us beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The most important thing in the how I went through reconciliation or coming back together with my family after all of the hardship we had gone through is I had to heal first. And especially if I'm the one pursuing the relationship, if I'm the one pursuing the healing, is that I had to be the one to heal first. So I had to give him everything that I was feeling. I had to give him all of my transparency and honesty. I had to tell him every heartache, every pain. And he said, Lolita, if you give it to me, I got something better. Lolita, if you give it to me. You don't have to hold on to it. So when it came time for me to interact with my family, baby, there was no holes barred. I didn't have any ill feelings in my heart. I didn't have any guilt, any shame, any embarrassment, any hatred. None of that was in my heart. So when it came time for me to connect, bebe, it was amazing and it was God who did it. So take a look at it and do an exchange with God. I promise you, when you look at Isaiah 61 and 3, you start reading it out loud and you see what he wants to give you freely. If you give him the heavy things, if you give him the hard things, if you let it go, what he's willing to give to you is up. Amazing. It's a gift of liberty. It's a gift of freedom. And I thank God for this opportunity in my first podcast interview because somebody wanted to hear my story and he thought it would help somebody along the way. And for that, I'm grateful. Mm -hmm.